Chund, Chund Sut. I asked the Muni, one of the abundant wisdom, said Chund, the smith's son. The Buddha, Lord of the Dhamma, Rid of craving, supreme among bipeds, the most excellent of trainers. How many ascetics are there in the world? Please tell me this. There are four kinds of ascetics. There is no fifth, Chinda, said the Blessed One. Being asked in person, let me explain them to you. The conqueror of the path, the teacher of the path, the one who lives in the path, and the defiler of the path. Whom do the Buddhas call a conqueror of the path? said the Chunda, the smith's son. How is one without equal as a shower of the path? Being asked, tell me about one who lives on the path and explain to me the defiler of the path. One who has crossed over perplexity, free of inner darts, Delighted with Nibbana without any greed. The guide of this world together with its Devas, the Buddha called the impartial one a conqueror of the path. One here who, having known the Supreme as Supreme, explains and analyzes the Dhamma right here. The Muni who has cut off doubt without impulse is the second bhikkhu, whom they called a teacher of the path. The one on the well-taught trail of the Dhamma, who lives in the path, controlled and mindful, resorting to blameless way of conduct, is the third bhikkhu, whom they call one living on the path. Having taken on the dress of the disciplined, one who is brazen, a corrupter of families, impudent, hypocritical, uncontrolled, chaff, living as a dissembler, he is the defiler of the path. When a householder who is learned, wise, a noble disciple has penetrated this since he knows they are not all like him, on seeing such, he does not forsake his faith. For how could one equate them, the undefiled with the defiled, the pure with the impure? Downfall Parabhava Sutta Thus I have heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was dwelling at Savati in Jethus Grove, Anathapindika's Park. Then, when the night had advanced, a certain deity of stunning beauty, having illuminated the entire Jethus Grove, approached the Blessed One, paid homage to him, stood to one side, and addressed the Blessed We ask Gautama a question about a person in downfall. We have come to ask the Blessed One, what is the cause of a downfall? One who succeeds is easily known. One who falls down is easily known. One who loves the Dhamma is successful. One who detests the Dhamma falls down. Thus we understand this. That is the first case of Nosanama Buddha Tibu. Tell us the second, Blessed One. What is the cause of a downfall? The bad are dear to him. He does not treat the good as dear. He approves of the teaching of the bad. That is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this. This is the second case of a downfall. Tell us the third, Blessed One. What is the cause of a downfall? If a person is lethargic, gregarious, and does not make an exertion, indolent, one who displays anger, that is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this, that is the third case of a downfall. Tell us the fourth, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? If one who is able to does not support his mother or his father, when they have grown old, their youth gone, that is the cause of a downfall. 
Thus we understand this, that is the fourth case of a downfall. Tell us the fifth, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? If one deceives with false speech, a braffino, an ascetic, or some other mendicant, this is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this, that is the fifth case of a downfall. To us the sixth, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? If a person with abundant wealth, endowed with bullion and food, eats delicacies alone, this is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this, that is the sixth case of a downfall. Tell us the seventh, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? A person proud because of social class, proud because of wealth, proud because of clan, looks down on his own relatives. That is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this, that is the seventh case of a downfall, tell us the eighth, blessed one, what is the cause of a downfall? A womanizer, one fond of liquor, addicted to gambling, dissipates whatever he has gained, that is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this, that is the eighth case of a downfall, tell us the ninth, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? One not content with his own wives is seen among prostitutes, seen among the wives of others, that is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this, that is the seventh case of a downfall. Tell us the tenth, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? When a man passes youth, Marries a girl with timbaru breasts. He does not sleep from jealousy over her. That is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this. That is the tenth case of a downfall. Till last the eleventh blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? If one places in authority a debauched woman, a spendthrift, or a man of similar nature, is the cause of a downfall. Thus we understand this. What is the eleventh case of the downfall? Tell us the twelfth, blessed one. What is the cause of a downfall? If one of little wealth and strong craving is born into a Khatiya family, 